Hi guys, Ben here and welcome to Motivation to Invest. Tis the season of IPOs and SPACs. We've seen so many companies going public right now and the market is hot. For example, Airbnb. I recently did a video on this. I did a deep dive valuation into the stock and I predicted the fair value of that stock was around $35 per share. The company actually went public for around $68 per share, but that's not the crazy part. The crazy part is the stock actually shot up to nearly $150 per share. That's an increase of over 115%. So it's completely crazy all the exuberance we're seeing in the market right now. But congratulations to all you investors who got in there early during the Airbnb IPO. There were also some other companies which had major IPOs this past week, such as DoorDash, the food delivery company. So DoorDash is the US's largest food delivery company. This company saw its stock skyrocket by over 78% from the initial opening price. But if you guys are interested in participating in some up and coming IPOs, then I've actually got a message for you in this video from our sponsor. So if you're in Europe, you can check out the Freedom Finance platform. So this company allows IPO participation in up and coming IPOs such as Wish, Upstart, Affirm and Roblox. Now I've previously done a video on Roblox. That's a very interesting company, an interesting gaming company with a large competitive advantage. But if you want to find out more information about all these IPOs, you can simply check out Freedom Finance's website. They've got all the details about the IPOs. They even do a little investing thesis on each of the IPOs and even an expected yield on the IPOs. So it's all very interesting stuff on their website. So if you wish to trade the up and coming IPOs and you're in Europe, then you can check out Freedom Finance. So you can simply open an account with those guys and apply for each IPO at least one to two days before the IPO. The minimum investment amount to each IPO is $2,000. So the company also has an app with some very interesting features. And for more details on the business and on these up and coming IPOs and their accounts, I've left a link in the description, which you guys can check out. This company is a sponsor of this video. Right, so now let's get into the video. In this video, I'm gonna discuss an up and coming SPAC or special purpose acquisition company, but this is a company which is established with real revenues, not a company which has predicted revenues 20 years into the future and a real substance to their finances. Before we dive right in, if you're new around here, feel free to subscribe to the community by hitting that subscribe button and be sure to turn that notification bell on. That way you'll get notified when I'm releasing new investing tips and exclusive stock market picks, which I'm personally investing into. With that being said, let's get into it. So what's the company? Well, the company is called Paysafe, an established UK payments company, which was formed in 1996. Paysafe processes nearly $100 billion of payment volume with more than 75% of revenue from online and integrated services. The company has three main applications. They have their digital wallet, they have the eCash and their integrated processing solution. But the real unique thing about Paysafe is their specialism in the iGaming market. So online gaming has exploded in recent years. So the gaming industry is forecast to grow at a compound annual growth rate of 9.17% per year between 2019 and 2025. And the online gaming industry, the online gambling industry, is expected to double in value in just a few years. So a company like Paysafe, which has been nicknamed the PayPal of the iGaming market, is an interesting stock with a major tailwind behind it. Buy low, sell high, that's my motto. I may just quit my job at the power plant and become a full-time stock market guy. So let's look at some of Paysafe's customers. In the gaming market, we have Fortnite, we have Roblox, we have Stadia, social media, Twitch, Spotify, YouTube, they even work the property management industry and even the wellness and membership industry. Now, Roblox is a very interesting company. This company is about to IPO very soon. This is a gaming company which is aimed at the younger demographic. To me, it looks a little bit like Legoland, but it's a very interesting company nonetheless. I recently did a full analysis on that company. So I'll leave that in the description link below, which you guys can check out. So Roblox has got this in-game currency called Robux which is a virtual currency which gamers can spend on accessories and gear for their avatar in the game. Now, this has proved to be immensely popular for Roblox and a major revenue generator. So if Roblox is benefiting, then a company like Paysafe will also benefit. 
So let's dive into the company's finances. So the company is expected to grow at a compounded annual growth rate on the revenues of around 11%. Now this is fairly high and they say this is purely organic revenue growth. Now generally I do look for a growth stock which is growing between 15 and 20% per year. But 11% is still pretty good, especially if it's all organic. And this company currently has major revenues of around 1.4% billion dollars which is expected to grow by 2023 to 1.8 billion dollars now the company calls themselves an iGaming leader so iGaming is generally involved with online payment for services such as gambling sites like DraftKings and gaming applications with 100% of the Canada iGaming coverage in 2013 it was launched in the US in 12 states and serves over 60 operators representing 75% of the market so this is just a few more details on the company's platform. So we've got their PaySafe eCash. This is the iGaming part, which I've been talking about. And we can see their customers here, the Gen Zs, the Millennials, Fortnite, Twitch, Spotify. That's where PaySafe eCash is very popular. And then they've also got the digital wallets. So customers there include DraftKings, Bet365, William Hill, and Betfair, which are all gambling providers. And then they've got their integrated processing solutions for payments. So we've got customers there, including DraftKings again, MindBody, and even Empower, the utility provider. Now, a great thing about this company is it also has very high margins, which is characteristic of a software or payment company. So as you can see here, the company generated $1.5 billion dollars in revenue with a 63 percent margin which is incredible so this company seems perfect they've got this tailwind behind them from the gaming market from the gaming industry growth they're also in a space with very high margins so what's the negatives well of course there's major competition from the major giants breathing down their neck i'm talking about paypal i'm talking about square which are two major market leaders and even stripe which is a private company an incredible private company but may go public very soon. You do have to be careful when you see on company presentations, they're comparing themselves to major giants. So PaySafe has a market cap of around $10 billion. PayPal has a market cap of over $250 billion. So to compare themselves to PayPal and even say that they're better than PayPal in many ways, that is quite a bold claim. And as investors, we need to be cautious of that when we see it in presentations. I see it recently with a lot of smaller companies. They compare themselves to Tesla when they haven't sold one electric car yet. So to me, that's a bit crazy. And they are definitely trying to jump on the hype of the market. So, so just be aware of that, guys. If you appreciate valuable info like that, which you won't get from the guys on Wall Street, then feel free to give this video a big thumbs up. That helps out tremendously with the channel. This is a pie chart here and each of the pies represent how much of a service the company has got. So two-sided network, full pie for PaySafe, full pie for PayPal. Risk management, full pie for PaySafe, only three quarters of a pie for PayPal. So that's a subjective category. They're saying we're better at risk management than PayPal. There's no way really to define that. So to me, that's a little bit of a red flag you guys need to watch out for. Second red flag, but not surprising, is the company is unprofitable. So the company currently has a net loss of $111 million. So that does need to be taken into account when we're doing our valuation. Well, how can we value this company? Well, we can't use a price to earnings ratio because the company is unprofitable. However, what we can use is a price to sales ratio. So that's the company's share price divided by the sales or the company's market cap divided by the sales. So if we take this figure here, revenue of 1.4 billion, which they had in 2019. And if we extrapolate that out and we say they're gonna achieve the same this year, personally, I think it's gonna be quite a substantial bit higher, at least 10 to 15% higher due to all the gaming exuberance and their predicted 11% growth. But just for this example, let's use this figure. Now the company is predicted to go public at around a $10 billion market cap. So if we divide them, we can see we get a price to sales of seven. So you're paying seven times the company's sales. Is that good? Is that bad? Well, let's compare it to the competitors. So PayPal, they have a price to sales of 12. Square, they have a price to sales of 10. So compared to PayPal and Square, PaySafe is actually undervalued compared to those companies. However, there is one little nuance to this. PayPal and definitely Square has a much greater growth rate than PaySafe. So Square's growth rate is predicted to be 38% over the next five years compared with PaySafe's 11% rate. So a faster growth rate does demand a higher valuation from the market. So that does need to be taken into account. 
But having said that, this is quite an interesting company. Maybe they could be a player and just specialize in this gaming market, which is a massive market and it is growing. So how can you guys invest into this company? Well, as you might have guessed, this company is going public by a SPAC merger or a special purpose acquisition company. Now, this is just a way for a company to have a shortcut to the public markets rather than doing a traditional IPO. So you can currently invest into the acquisition company right now. So the company is going public via an acquisition company called called Folly Transimen Acquisition Corp. I'm not sure if that's the correct pronunciation. Um, the ticker symbol for that is WPF. So the transaction is expected to close in the first half of 2021. The ticker symbol will be changed to PSFE for PaySafe. However, like many of these SPACs, if you watch my previous videos on them, there is a nuance on the transaction details. So let's dive into that right now. So diving into the transaction details, as you can see here, if you invest into the acquisition company, you will only get 22.5% of the final company. So that does need to be factored in to your valuation. So just be aware of that, guys, if you decide to invest into this company. So to me personally, I'd say the company is at a fair value up to around $17 per share. So that's my personal price target. Now, I'm not saying I'm investing into the company. I'm just telling you where I think the company is fairly valued. If you guys wish to know exactly when I'm buying and selling stocks and also want access to my personal portfolio, my six figure portfolio, the stocks and the story of how I grew it to where it is today, then feel free to check out the VIP membership group. So I recently launched this group after a number of requests from you guys. So if you wish to check it out, you get access to my buy and sell signals. So when I make my moves, you make your moves. There's also our VIP private members group on Discord where we discuss different investing topics and it's all like-minded people moving towards a successful point in their lives. So it's a really fascinating group of people, a real great community in there. If you guys wish to check it out and see if it fits your style, then feel free to check out the link I've left in the description below. I've also made a video which discusses all the different tiers and packages. The VIP membership is the price of a coffee, and I personally think the amount of value you get is absolutely incredible. So feel free to check it out and see if it's for you. With that being said, if you guys found some value in this video, then feel free to give it a big thumbs up that helps out tremendously with the YouTube AI. And if you're new around here and you still haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? go ahead and hit that subscribe button only if you want more investing tips and exclusive stock market picks, which I'm personally investing into. With that being said, I hope you guys have an incredible day and I'll see you in my next video. Invest safe.